Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, and verse 26. We're down to the last woe. There were four blessings. Now there's four woes. Here's the last one in Jesus' set of statements he makes. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. And I thought we would just take this, this, this piece right here because... There's a lot right here, okay? Woe, here's one of the four woes. Woe to you when all men speak well of you. When all men speak well of you? Woe to you when the majority, you know, speaks well of you. That's what he's talking about. Woe to you when people like your smooth words, because the majority is, all, is, is never on God's side. It just seems to be that way. And when everybody's happy with you, and your things are going wonderfully, and you're doing better than you've ever done before, so you think but you're pleasing all people, something's wrong because you are not going to please all people. If you're true to the scriptures, if you're true to Jesus, you will not please all people. Just, just settle that in your mind. Settle that in your heart. You will not. So if everybody's happy with you, you're not doing your job. This is kind of an Eli kind of a position, right? Like uh, we're just going to go along with, with any which thing and, you know, be blessed. No, no, uh, that, that's not needed on planet Earth today. Woe to you when all men speak well of you. And then he gives us the example. That's what they used to do. That's what they used to do to who? To who? Who, do, who did they speak well of? Of the false prophets, not of the true prophets. They were not spoken well of, but of the false prophets. The false prophets, before they were crunched, but for being false prophets, the old men always spoke well of them. Hey, these people are on our team. These people are, are giving the agenda. They're giving the narrative that we want them to give. So... Yeah, we're so glad with our crew of false prophets. No, no, friend, you and I be true to Jesus, true to the word. Woe to us if all men are speaking well of us. Doesn't mean we can't hear something to encourage us somewhere. We should encourage each other. But let's continue to not lift people up high. Let's lift Jesus up high. And let's beware if things are going so smoothly that people are, are speaking well of us. That's not really necessarily a good sign. Indeed, Jesus warns us it could be a very bad sign. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, today we've gotten the eighth piece out of these eight things Jesus says here in the Gospel of Luke. And this one's a sad one. Probably all men aren't speaking well of us right now, so that's okay. But if that situation arises, Lord, help us to see it not as a mark of distinction, but to see it as a warning sign that maybe we are not being uh, as true to the needle to the pole as we should be. So, Lord, help us. Help us to be faithful no matter what it costs. This is our prayer, Lord. It can't be any more simple. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Friend, be true to Jesus. Every other thing will fall into place. Be blessed today. Be blessed.